Hey there, it's Minecraft Grand, the Geeky Minecrafter, coming at you with another episode in my Let's Play series. Today is episode 50, believe it or not. That's kind of a milestone. I'm proud to say um, that I've made it. Uh, not all Let's Play series make it this far. In fact, uh, most don't make it to 20, to be honest. So I feel like we've we've accomplished uh, a little bit here. You know, it's a hurdle we got over, a milestone, and I'm pretty proud of that. So let me let me put this in here. Here we go. Okay, so I'm on my server, Minecraft Addict, and um, I had originally decided, you know, for 50 we were going to do something big and splashy, and uh, we talked about it with several of the uh, online community and came up with a couple of good ideas. And I, I have to say, uh, one of them was kind of fun. I was looking forward to it. Um, they wanted to build a um, a statue. Uh, kind of a 3D pixel art of Minecraft Grand's uh, avatar, which uh, this is what I look like. Okay, so we've got some blues and browns and you know blue jeans and some boots and stuff like that. So uh, in, in in anticipation of that, I went out to the mesa and uh, gathered up this material, only to discover that when it was time to do the episode, nobody showed. Okay, so it's just me, and rather than do a big project. Um, kind of in celebration of, of making it 50 episodes, I thought what I'd do is clean up some of the things, some of the projects that I've got going that I, I just keep meaning to do and, and haven't yet. Uh, one of which I, I did just finish, um, and that was a disposal system uh, attached to my fish farm. So upstairs is a fish farm, and if you haven't seen it, I'll show it to you briefly. Um, I've done some testing, and I know that an overnight session lasts about six chests. Depends on how many fish are in there and, and you know how many other items that stack up to 64. Um, if there's just a lot of the single items like bows or bowls or saddles or rods or, or you know, like that, um, it can go all the way to six. If there's a lot of the items that stack to 64, like fish, um, then it may only make it to four. But what I wind up with is a truckload of material I don't really need. So what I have found, and I did this on the other server, uh, it took a little bit of, you know, working out some of the mechanics, but I found that, you know, if I would go through and empty the chest of the things that I wanted, then I wanted to be able to flip a button and have the rest drain out and drop into lava. Uh, so I did do that. Uh, I got that working. I even got a safety light here to let me know both when I'm downstairs and when I'm upstairs if the disposal system is on. So if we go look real quick, let me just show you that. See this light? Oh, really? Huh. Okay. Okay. I uh, these two switches are cross threaded. So this was my original, for testing purposes, this was my original um, switch that basically would just lock everything only in this upper chest. And I don't think I need this anymore because, again, the, its purpose was to let me test. So I don't think we're I don't I don't think we're gonna need this. I'm just gonna undo this. Don't want anything conflicting. See, aren't you glad we caught that? I know I am. I can't pick that up, really. Okay, fine. Let's throw some of this off. Uh, this is so not me, and you'll know from prior episodes that I absolutely must have a sorting system, and that's that's not today. Come on. I didn't mean to throw that away. All right, so let's pick this up. Let's close this up, right? And did we get rid of the other? Nope. We're good. Okay, again, so you'll notice the light is off. Now, now that we've undone that redstone, i got to go test it again. Okay, so on. And back up. And it's on. Okay, so and this tells me, you know, when I walk up to go fish the machine, if this light is on, I'm safe. I'm good to go. Um, if it's not on, then I need to come down here and turn the disposal system off so that everything that I um, fish will halt here and not just flow right down into the lava. That would be a bad thing. I'm just saying. Okay, so a couple of other things. Ooh, let's fill this in. I had found some uh, iron there. A couple of other little projects I wanted to get done. 
Uh, I do want a nano farm. Um, feeding the cows is pretty easy now that I've got this big wheat field out here. But replanting this puppy is difficult. Uh, you spend, you know, 10 minutes knocking everything down, another 10 minutes replanting everything. There's a lot of wheat out here. Now, it lasts a while, okay, but it's a lot of work to get out here and manually knock all this down and pick all this up. So what I found uh, with the nano farm is you need a lot of bones, don't get me wrong, but if you have a, an ongoing source of bones, the nano farm is push-button easy. You walk up. You turn the machine on, you, you stand there and you right click hold uh, the seeds or the potatoes or the carrots, whatever it is you're planting, and it will immediately grow and then jump out of the earth because there's not enough light. And so y it, the next one plants, the next one plants. So it is an AFKable nano farm. So that is one thing I want to do because I, I, that's a lot of work feeding those cows. But I need the cows, I want the leather. See, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting quite a bit of leather and cooked steak, uh, but I I don't want to have to work for the wheat. What can I tell you? I'm lazy. I'm a programmer. I'm lazy. So let's put this on. If we're going to go outside, well, let's put some of this up. And let's see what else we've got that we need to do today. Uh, that'll work. Let's put these up. You know, there's no reason to walk around with all this. Uh, we're good, we're good. Raw meat. I wouldn't mind finding a wolf. I'm just saying. Um, I, I like having those around. I found a couple uh, in on one of the other servers that I play on. And it is big fun. I, if I leave him right there where I am, and I don't leave him sitting, then if somebody comes in and hits me or moves me or you know, a zombie finds me or something like that, then he will attack them and protect me. Oh, come on. Where do you... You know what? We're, we're just we're just not going to worry about the clownfish. We're going to throw them away in a minute. i tell you what. Here, let's put those in here. Uh, why is that not draining? Because it's got power to it, Sine. Good grief. So what I really need is this redstone lamp one higher, right? Yeah, okay. Well, so do we keep working on this? Um, it's kind of fiddly, this stuff, right? I tell you what, can we get the light up to here? Because that would be good. Oh, except, you know what I really need to do? I really need to move it all over one so that the light comes in here and it's not touching this. So the ideal would be if the light were here. Are you with me? So we do have that channel right behind, right? Let's go, let's knock this one out. Can we do this? Did I put up all the redstone? Why, yes, I did. Okay, see what I mean by fiddly stuff? Um, and this is one of the reasons I don't, <laughs> I don't go change all this stuff. Because, you know, um, God, you can burn up a whole episode just trying to fix one little thing. All right, let's see what we got here. So we come across, down, down. Let's see, we're going to need a block to get back up. No, that's not what I wanted. That's... Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. You know what? I almost need to go one more, like this. Uh, go up one more, right here. So this can go up, right? Will it climb like this? Can I get out here? Why, yes, I can. Okay, so it'll climb. Now, what happens if I put it right there? Okay, let's see. All right, this is going through, but this light is not on. Is it because I don't have enough signal? 
Okay, two things. I'm going to get a repeater. And then we're going to go downstairs and make sure the light is on. Uh, the repeater is because I don't think I've got enough signal to make it all the way up. But let's just go make sure that I'm not losing my mind and that the light is on. It is on. So this signal should be coming up, right? Huh. Did I knock another piece out? Let's see. Oh, it has to be on this piece to make this jump. Right? Okay, let's let's try jumping it this way. Will it jump? Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh there we go. There we go. And it's not locking the chest? Nope. Beautiful. Beautiful. See, fiddly. What can I tell you? Alright, so let's do that. And that I don't mind that one being open, but let's see if it's something we can close. I can close this one without interfering, and this one. Alright, and these two. Right? Still it up. See? And I gotta put a sign in to tell myself what this is all about. Um, so, light on. Safe to fish. Light off. Disposal. On. Well, this is just to remind me which is which. So let's just go make sure everything is still working. That I didn't break anything. Okay. Light is on. So where did... Hmm. They did not make it past this chest. Why? Because we have power. We have power to this hopper. So my switch, which is right here. Nope, right here. Come on, where's the... Really? Yep, yep, yep. That's what's going on. Okay, so. If we move this switch over one. Hmm. What do you think? i tell you what. Let's, um. Let's go see. Yeah, see, that steps up. Right here. Walks all the way up. Can I turn it? Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's. Do I have any more of these? I have to go make some. And I don't think I have a crafting table down here. Dang it. So, let's do stones. I have one. Okay, let's just make a few. I don't know how many I'm going to need. Maybe we'll do 18. Plus the one I had, 19. Okay. Now, I'm not much of a redstone guru. I know enough to get myself in trouble. Well, I hate doing that because you, you damage it. Okay, so we want to just move everything over one, right? And it, will this go up? Let's see. Let's make sure. Let's put that lever back on. Uh-oh. 
See, nothing should have gone. It should have stayed right here. What is going on? Because this isn't actually locking anything. All that's doing is going up to the light above. So we also need this to flow up here. Right? Come on, let me in. Okay, let's try it now. Let's drop a couple from up here. Made it. Mm hmm. Okay, so locking. Here we go. Here's the goal. I, I probably should start there, right? So I'm trying to lock this hopper, which is connected to this block, right? Unfortunately, this hopper is right on top of that block. So, all right. Um, one, two, three. Okay, here's what I don't know. I don't know if I come in another direction, which um, which I think I can do. You know, I mean, I'll have to move my mechanics. I'll have to move it over one, you know, one dealy bobber. But this is, I'm trying to get power to lock this one. No, this one. Power to this block locks this hopper. So this is the lock that locks this hopper. It also locks this hopper. So what I can do, I can turn this. I can turn the chest. That'll work. So let's take and knock this one out. And this one out, right? We will turn the chest this way. And I'm going to lose being able to see my disposal system. But with this on, let's try it. Let's go above it. Okay, they're flowing, they're flowing, they're flowing. They made it all the way down here. Was it only five I put in? Here, let's do eight more. All right, all right. So we made it all the way down. There we go. Okay. I'm not loving it. But I kind of am loving it. Let's see. Let's do this. We'll hide this one. Uh, yeah, it's a little quirky. It's a little weird. But uh, we got it, right? That's That was the goal. So I don't want to... Well, it just sticks. What the heck. Okay, there they go. So light on. We're safe. Let's go try it from up here. Light is on. Uh, psh. Come on, give me something I can throw away. Here we go. Uh, is that just a vi yeah, it was a visual glitch. Okay, so the light is on. It should be stuck right here. And it is. Okay, light off. There they go. Final part of the test. We drop something in with the light off. Does it go all the way? Here, we'll do andesite. Okay, so there should be nothing in the lower chest. There they go. There we go. All right. Problem solved. So let's put our sign back up that says, um, let's see. Up. Good grief. Is fish safe? Uh, down is disposal. Oh. Can you tell what word I type a lot? On. Okay. I like it. Okay, so that's one down. <laughs> would you would you be scared to know that my to-do list has like five things on it? Uh yeah. So let's do this. Um 
And here. Okay, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think of turning that chest a little bit sooner. But uh, yeah, redstone sometimes interferes with other redstone, and I know better. Okay. Check it off the list. Let's see what else have we got. Uh, I have some scaffolding out here I really want to clean up. Uh, every time I walk out here, though, <laughs> it seems like it's nighttime, and they start wailing on me. Um, when I first started the, um, the Iron Golem farm, I created the farm. I had no villagers, and, and the nearest village is, oh, way, way out there. So what I did was, out of this, out of this uh, birch forest over here, there are a truck load of zombie villagers that come out of there. I mean, other zombies as well, but it seemed like I was getting an inordinate number of um, uh, zombie villagers. So I trapped a couple of them. Let's pull these down real fast. Trapped a couple of them and uh, ported them up to the Iron Golem farm and bred them. You know, because that's how we roll. Let's see. So I no longer need this. And I, I've taken it down in pieces as I needed the materials, but... Yeah, it's just time to clean it up. Okay. So, and I, I have other things that I could use this for. In fact, uh, my mind is getting kind of long. And I wouldn't mind creating a rail system that uh, would bring stuff up and allow me to put it in the sorter. Uh, sorter is on my to-do list. That's a big project, and I don't have near enough materials. Although I do have, you know, the iron farm is producing for me now. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, for every hour of gameplay, I'm probably pulling in maybe, maybe half a stack of iron without, without mining. Um, I wish it would increase. Uh, I thought it would get better. I, I've bred some villagers and I've moved some more up there, and I thought that would make it better, but it, you know, it really hasn't. Not, uh, not like I was expecting. So I even doubled it. I put a second layer of doors up, thinking that would do it, and it, it just really hasn't. So I'm not sure if you know if you know about the zombie. I'm sorry the. Iron Golem mechanics, and you can offer some insight. I would be so interested to hear from you. Let's see. For the longest time, the maximum number of zom uh, zombies, I don't know why I keep calling them that, because they started as zombies, I guess. But the maximum number of villagers I can have is 14. For the longest time, that's all it would ever do. Even, you know, it didn't matter what I did, it was just 14. Well, I added the doors, and then I bred them separately, and then I moved them up there. And I was able to get more than 14, but I, I've kind of manually manipulated the system, and I, I shouldn't have to, I'm thinking. So, you know, feel free to leave that in the comments. Uh, I am by no means an expert on Minecraft. I am a professional, however. <laughs> uh... Can you be called a professional if um, if you die randomly? I, I'm thinking no. Although I will say, um, on this server, I have no deaths. Pretty proud of that fact. Let's see. Okay. Endermen have been out here messing with me. Why do they want dirt? Anybody? Anybody? Okay, so I eventually want to turn this into... A swimming pool. Um, I want to get my automated sugarcane farm going, which another project. Can you say Minecraft Grand has too many projects? You know, I don't play in creative very often, except uh, you know, experimenting with redstone and that kind of thing. I I generally work it out in game in survival, but occasionally I do play in creative, and I I will tell you. It's kind of great having unlimited uh, ma uh, materials, if you will. So one of the things I'm doing is I'm trying to create automation that says, 
you know, if I need leather, I can go get three stacks of leather. I don't have to worry about what it is going to cost me. Uh, I'm not going to have to wait because I have to go gather it. I, I can just go get what I need. That's one of the reasons I have such an extensive storage system, and one of the reasons I want uh, such a neat and huge uh, sorter is because I want to be able to go get what I need when I need it, uh, but I don't want to do it in creative. I, I like the the sense of pride that comes from, you know, going and gathering it or using my brains to do that. You know, like in the in the example here of the cow farm. Okay, it's it's a really small footprint cow farm, but by coming out here and you know, feeding them just, you know, every couple of times I play, I just come out here and spam click the um, the cows, look at here, and we, we dropped down, we were at 50 something, we're now at 34, okay, so that's 10 pieces of wheat, that's, or that's 20 pieces of wheat, that's 10 babies, so click this, 10 new babies just jumped in under that lava. So the next time I come in, this will go up by 10 more. Um, and so that's, you know, that, that's what I want. I want an unlimited number of resources, and I don't want to have to work for them. But I don't want to play creative, so I'm kind of a contradiction, I know. Let's put that back in there. Okay, so we did the fish farm. We took down the scaffolding. I don't think I want to build a nano farm. Well... You know, it wasn't that hard. No, I don't have bones yet. Um, so I need, I need an unlimited supply of bones. Do I have bones? Anywhere. We had a skelly farm. They moved it to the nether. I'm, I still miss it. Still miss it. Uh, I know I have a spider spawner over there. That doesn't help me, but I, I just wonder, you know, sometimes they, they spawners tend to be together. So I, I don't know. I don't know if that's uh, that's going to help me or not. Okay, well, things have been running here for a while. So I think I'm going to call it. I'm going to put this uh, put this cow out of its misery. I am going to end the episode here. I'm going to say happy 50th to me, from me. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play series. If you are, smash that like button. Believe it or not, it really, really does help. Now, if you did enjoy the content, let your friends know. Um, tell them where they can find me. And, you know, like I said, there's 50 videos here. If I if I haven't done what you want to see, let me know and I'll do that. Uh, but the chances are pretty good. I've built it or I've shown you, uh, you know, a tutorial on, on how to build it. Uh, see, we've done Iron Golem farms, Gold XP farms. I mean, we've just done all kinds of things. So stay tuned to the next episode. I do have a few other projects that I want to do. I really want to get my base 100% self-sufficient. So stay tuned. I'll bring that to you soon. This is Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, signing out. Happy mining. <laughs> Y'all come back now.